Hey guys, Vipin here again. I'm making part two of this video because many people requested me to give more information about the stock markets, the stock exchanges, and considering the overwhelming response I got from the previous video, here's some more information about the stock markets. Now, remember here, I'm trying to keep the information as basic as possible. If you want me to make more detailed videos about particular concepts in the stock market, do leave a request in the comment section and I'll definitely work on it and I'll be able to provide you the details about the various more interesting concepts that are there in the stock markets. Okay, so let's get started. Now, if you uh, come across this information about the various exchanges, I'm sure it would be in the newspapers or in the television channels okay so how are these exchanges uh, different from one another is basically the presentation which we will go through today okay the first exchange and the oldest exchange in india is bombay stock exchange bombay stock exchange has its roots all the way till the 19th century and it is one of the oldest stock exchanges in india and in fact one of the oldest stock exchanges in the world Okay, NSE is a newer stock exchange. I'll tell you how NSE is different from BSC in a few minutes from now. And then you have MCX. MCX is the, like the name suggests, multi-commodity exchange. Now MCX, unlike NSE and BSC, is mostly into commodities. Now in my previous video, I mentioned exchanges like Chicago Mercantile, which has a variety of products which they go about trading, all unusual ones. Like I told you, they have cattle, they have weather, all that. In India, we have similar contracts in MCX. Now, some of the products that you can see in MCX that are being traded will start from the ones towards my left. That would be the bullions. Bullions here refers to mostly precious metals. Okay, and then you have other metals like aluminum, iron ore, lead, copper, zinc, tin. You have energy contracts like crude oil, natural gas. Oil seeds are also being traded. You have fiber such as cotton which is being traded in MCX and other vegetables as well like for example you have even potatoes which are being traded in MCX. Now MCX unlike BSC and NSE is not really meant for an investor like myself. Now, I'm not someone who'd be interested to buy commodities like potatoes or rubber. Not in the extent in which what MCX would sell. Now, for example, who are the people who would want to trade in MCX? If I was a potato chip manufacturer, okay, my raw materials here, of course, are potatoes. Now, rather than me buying the product in the open market, I could go about betting on the potato prices on MCX. The contracts that you see here are sold in several hundred kilograms, several tons when you go about buying them. It's really not meant for an end consumer like me whose potato consumption in a month might be say a kilogram or two kilogram. Here in MCX, they sell it in tons. So me as an investor, a small time investor has no big role in an institution like MCX. It's mostly meant for manufacturers and large corporations when they go about buying products on MCX. Okay. Now, how do people go about trading in these stock exchanges? BSC, NSC and all the exchanges that are there in India, all the trading happens electronically. Electronic trading here refers to using computers. You have complicated software where all you need to go about entering is your details of trade, what you want to buy, what you want to sell, what is the price at which you want to buy and the price at which you want to sell. You can even set aside the time at which the trade must be executed. So we all do trade in India through the electronic platforms. Okay. Now other exchanges around the world could use pit trading format. Okay, NYSE, New York Stock Exchange, partially uses pit trading format. Chicago Mercantile is very, very famous for their pit trading systems. Uh, other exchanges around the world which continue to use pit trading is the Singapore Mercantile. That exchange as well follows a format called pit trading. 
Now, pit trading, like I've said here, is an orthodox practice. Orthodox practice because before computers were put in in the stock exchanges, the only way in which you could meet buyers and sellers would be shouting at the top of your voice. Now, I'm not kidding here. That's exactly what they would do. It's a chaotic form of trading. Chaotic form of trading because when you go about doing pit trading, a lot of your energy, in fact, goes down significantly. You need to run around places in order to see, in order to come across people who are willing to sell what you want or willing to buy whatever you want. I'll do another video which talks about the pit trading system in particular. I find it very, very interesting. And of course, it's a little funny as well if you look at the way people dress up. Now, in pit trading, people usually dress up in bright colors. The reason is they want to get the attention of the other guy. So that's one of the reason why in that photo on top, you're able to see people wear bright red or bright blue. And some people in the corner, you can see they wear bright yellow. In fact, this is pretty much the dull colors according to me. I've even seen people wear glitter pattern jackets. Uh, one guy had worn a glitter pattern of the American flag as his jacket. They do this not because they want to look funny. It's just that they want to get noticed so that they can do the trades faster. And like I said, pit trading is a very chaotic environment. You can see how crowded the exchange is. If you look at the offices of BSE and NSE, the only noise that you would come across there would be the telephones ringing and people talking over the phone. You won't see an exchange in India which is as crazy as you see on the photo that I've put up on top. Okay. Now, people tried to reduce the chaos in pit trading to reduce people from shouting and reduce the stress on their voice box by introducing hand signals. And that's something that you can see in the bottom picture there. Now, despite introducing hand signals and despite telling people not to shout and communicate with each other using hand signals, it hasn't been as effective as, it, as they expected it to be. Okay. Now, moving on, it's jargon time. Now, I'm going to tell you a lot of information here. So if you have any queries about anything that I'm going to mention here, uh, leave them in the comment section and I'll definitely get back to you. So let's start off here right from the top. Okay. Now this is a screenshot which I took today. Okay. On the 4th of February, 2014. Now this is a screenshot that I took from economictimes.com and uh, let me tell you the various jargons that you would come across, which is very, very common in the stock market. Now the first thing that you would come across is Hero Motor Corporation Limited. That's the full name of the company, which I'm going to talk about here. The information that's there below BSC is BSC colon 500182. Now that's the code name for Hero Motor Corporation in Bombay Stock Exchange. Okay. Now you have a similar code name for Hero Motor Corporation in NSE. And that's where you can see Hero MC uh, M O T O C O E Q. EQ here refers to equity and that's the code that you have for NSE. Uh, 58888, that's an SMS if you want to get stock to, uh, stock information of uh, Hero Motor Corporation, you SMS Hero to that number and they go about giving you that information. Okay. Uh, IND is the category on what the company is actually into, two and three wheeler segment. Okay. Hero Motor Corporation, the segment what is it that they actually manufacture in automobiles and then you have the ISIN code ISIN codes are international so even if you have an investor say from germany who wants to trade in hero motor corporation from his office in germany he could use the ISIN code there ine 158 and go about trading from his uh, german office as well okay and sector what sector is he to hero into automobiles Okay. Now, next thing that you have there is the exchange information. We'll look at the first half that is there on top and then we'll proceed to what NSE has to say. Okay. Now, BSE there, as you can see, 1988.15. That's the price at which it was trading on at uh, as of 3.40 PM. 
3.40 p.m. the market is actually closed. That's when the screenshot was taken. Okay. Now there you can see change is 25 rupees and 10 paisa. In brackets you can see the percentage change. Now percentage change and the 25 rupees, how do you compare this? If you look at the price of the stock, okay, on previous close, okay, next to change you have open, right below open you have something called previous close. On previous close there you can see 1963.05. Now compared to that, if you, subs if you subtract 1988.15, with 1963.05 you're able to get 25 rupees that's what they compare yesterday when the market closed the stock price of hero motors was 1963.05 today when the market closed the price of hero motors was 1988.15 there you get the difference of 25 rupees and 10 paisa in other words from your investment of hero yesterday to today you have seen an increase of 1% in your stock market value. Now, 1% according to me, theoretically speaking, of course, is very, very good return. Okay. This is just 1% increase in your wealth in one day. If you talk about a bank deposit, an increase in your wealth happens in a year by 9%. Here, you're seeing an increase in your wealth in just one day by 1%. So theoretically speaking, that's actually good. Okay. Below that you have below the change of 25.10, you have 14,087. Uh, 14, now that's the number of trades that happened on Hero Motor Corporation in Bombay Stock Exchange. Okay. Trades here refers to buys and sells. Okay. So the number of transactions that happened in BSC when it comes to Hero Motor Corporation was 14,087. Now, after that, you have today's price. Uh, you can see a blue bar with a black dot. Today, the highest, in fact, the, I'm sorry, the lowest at which it actually touched was 1,942. The highest it went to was 2003 and 3. Okay. So there you can see the bar indicates the range at which the price is actually fluctuated as of today. Right below that, they've given the 52 week comparison. 52 weeks here is nothing but a year. So if I were to compare last year, February 4th to, to this year, February 4th, the range in prices you can see last year, Hero Motor Corporation at February 4th, 2013 was 1434.05. Okay. Compared to then till today, the range of prices it's actually gone up to has been 14,000, sorry, 1434.05 to 2214.70 uh, this is the extent at which the prices have been fluctuating okay this is a one year comparison the one on top is just today's comparison the range of prices where it went through today okay uh, if you guys are students of statistics i'm sure you would have come across range okay uh, it's a uh, it's something which they go about using here as well bid price is the price at which they are going to buy Okay, 1,988.15. Offer price is the sale price. I'm not able to get that information because the market is closed. Sorry about that. But do log in tomorrow at around 9.30. Any stock exchange website will be able to get the current sale price as of that particular time. Okay, just below that you have NSE. Now I'm not going to repeat the same points as what I did with uh, BSE. But I'd just like to compare here. In case you notice, the prices of BSE and the prices of NSE are really, really small difference. They don't really have a large difference in price. Now, if you remember a concept in economics, market equilibrium, that's something that you're able to come across in the stock exchange. You will never come across Hero Motor Corporation in BSE, let's say it's 1900 and in NSE, it's 1800. Such a massive range of difference is just not possible. The range of difference you would come across here, I'm guessing is what, uh, less than 2 rupees if I'm not wrong. The difference in the prices compared to 2 rupees difference versus several hundred rupees, it's really not possible to come across such a big difference. Okay. 
So market equilibrium is the reason why you are able to find both the prices in NSE and BSE the same. Okay, or relatively the same. That's a better term in fact, relatively the same. Now next to that, I want to discuss the volume point of view here. Now in BSE, if you notice, just around 14,000 trades have happened. In NSE, 3 lakh plus trades have happened. Now that's a big difference. Now the reason why you have such a big difference is because NSE uses a better system for trading than what BSE uses. Now, for example, in NSE, they use satellite connectivity for the purpose of trading. Remember, NSE uses satellite connectivity for the purpose of trading. Now, satellite connectivity is pretty much instantaneous. It's like watching a live match, you could say. As the ball is being bowled, immediately the relay happens on your television. You don't really come across a big delay in the difference in way in which information reaches your television. The similar thing is what you would come across in NSE. NSE uses satellite based connectivity. Now when you use satellites for the purposes of trading, the way in which you can do trading is immensely fast. Now don't get me wrong, BSE also uses computers for trading. However, BSE you could say goes about using a broadband connectivity while NSE goes about using satellite connectivity. Think of it as. BSC using 2G connection while NSE is in fact using 4G connection. That's how quick NSE is when it comes to the way in which they do trade. Now since you have better infrastructure, NSE is the reason why people go about trading more in terms of volume than what you have in BSC. Okay. Now although there is a difference in volume in both the cases, a big difference in fact, you don't really notice a difference in price. Like I said, market equilibrium is the reason why you would find the prices of these two exchanges, uh, Hero Motor Corporation and these two exchanges are very, very close to each other. Okay. Now, I hope I've given you some details of some of the jargons here. There are a lot more jargons, in fact, in the stock market. If you like this video, please leave a comment. And if you have any queries as well, uh, mention them in the comments and I'll immediately get back to you. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.